Well, howdy. <clears throat> this is uh, me, and I have uh, made a mess up. Now, every every one of my tapes that I've, I've started for the last five, eight years, my little friend was up there going, here, lizard, lizard, lizard. Well, uh, I'm not, I used to have a supervisor. Her name was Connie Walters. She had a way of saying, boy, that's really stupid. Well, I did something stupid. And what I did, evidently, is I left uh, my little lizard, lizard, lizard thing back in Texas. So here I am at uh, Seagull North, and I don't have my guy. But uh, I'm going to do this anyway. thought for the day, as today's the 5th of, January, uh, 5th of uh, July. I managed to stay away from all the uh, fireworks business last night. You know, when I was a kid, I'd go out and spend a lot of money on fireworks. Not anymore. It doesn't give me a big thrill. I get irritated with the people that do. You know, they're out there, bang, boom, boom, bang. So I try to isolate myself. Well, I went inside the unit, we shut all the windows, turned the fans on. <coughs> Did pretty well. But anyway, we've been up here now. I wish I have a month and I haven't done this. And uh, the weather's beautiful. Rains about every other day. In fact, uh, we've had some uh, horrendous downpours. We're talking rain. Washed bridges out. Uh, roads. <laughs> you drive along up here in these uh, nice country roads and there'll be uh, the uh, orange, uh, you know, buckets. Yeah, what they're, they're, they're keeping you from driving off the edge. A cliff because the uh, the roads are washed out, but they're fixing them. But anyway, we're at Seal North, and there's been a little change here since uh, we were here last. Uh, you've seen the uh, pictures that I've run on Facebook and on YouTube of Seal North. Well, we've uh, we've had a new... <sighs> Isn't that funny? We've had a new uh, deck put in. And I want to show you my new deck. Oh man, getting old. My uh, my uh, bones are creaking, but I am on the deck. And of course, it uh, there's the unit back there. The deck starts over there. I think it's ten, ten feet out wide. Of course, got the canopy. Let me take this thing. See if I can see what the flip I'm doing here. Yeah, there's got the awning. Got the deck. And, uh, of course, the gate going out. But the deck now, instead of stopping right here, it goes on around. And it keeps on going on around to here. And, uh, to me, boy, something, something just got upset with me being here. I don't know if you heard that, but <laughs> he really sounded off. Anyway, uh... Talk about a vista. Uh, our backyard is uh, the woods, and it's just gorgeous. Had a tree fell down, and uh, oh, uh, one of the we have three mics here. We have the owner, the owner's son, both Mike, and then we have uh, another Mike, and he's hired on, and he cut that tree up for me. Actually, it had fallen on the unit. In fact, there's a little dab of tree on the unit and I need to get that cut off. Because if it keeps wiping up there on the top, it's going to do us no good. There's our corn feeder out there. That's where uh, Gypsy sits inside and goes completely bonkers watching the uh, animals. She sits through this window. I think you can probably see Mommy in there. Yeah, there she is inside in the kitchen. Anyway, I'm going to walk out and uh, give you a vista of this thing and uh, I'm not going to try do too much today ah, because I was stupid uh, my little guy will not be heading up my videos this summer it's uh, just a shame I don't know where he's at actually to tell you the truth I think he's home on my desk but that's uh, that's our new and improved deck, which I'm proud of. You'll notice I got the awning sloped. It rains around here. 
spontaneously. It would be nice and then it will rain. Well, if you have that awning level, the water will bucket up in it and it'll get heavy enough to tear the awning down. So we keep it sloped like that to uh, uh, preclude things like that. Anyway, this is my front yard. Uh, I like it. There's some of the neighbors down there. Uh, they're we're enough, far enough separated apart that uh, we don't uh, we don't get in each other's hair, which is nice. It's very peaceful here. Anyway, <clears throat> we'll go back here, put this thing on the porch, and see if I can. Oh boy! Yeah, I'll tell you what, this my old age is a bunch of crap. Let's see if I can pull this around like that. Okay, I'll put you back on the stand. Try to put you back there. It is back on the stand. Keep the thing running. Oh yeah. Ah, uh, aside from doing this today, I have a, a friend. By the way, whoops! I sure thought I brought my Mountain Dew in here with me. <laughs> I did. I was going to have sweat. <clears throat> it's evidently in there. Ah. Uh, I'm going to take part of the afternoon and go up and see a uh, Amish friend of mine up on the hill here. That away. I think that's uh, Texan for what they say over there here in New York. But uh, I'm going to go up there and spend some time with him. Uh, there goes Mike right now. I'm going to go and say, hey man, you haven't hauled my wood away, but uh, I don't think that. Uh, there'll be any problem with it. Uh, you saw the wood laying out there. He said he'd get rid of it, so I'm counting on him. Uh, politics. I'm really uh, ambivalent about my president. Boy, you know, I heard the other day that uh, our uh, unemployment rate is almost down to 5%, 6.1, something like that. Now, that's, that's some good stuff. Uh, that hasn't happened since back when, before George was in office. You know, I hate George. As much as always, uh, good uh, Bible thumping uh, folks down in the South hate Obama. George was a mistake. But anyway, it appears that uh, some of uh, our present president's policies have uh, enhanced the economy enough to where the unemployment rate is down to almost in the 5% rate, 6.1. That's pretty good. That's pretty good because I know while he was in office uh, in the early days, it was over 10%, it was 11%. So uh, I have to assume that, uh, you know, he's had at least uh, some uh, help or input and getting that down, his policies. One thing is, he's taken us out of the uh, the wars over there in the Middle East, and uh, of course, there's a lot of people just screaming and yelling that uh, you know we're not holding up our end and whatnot. Well, we never should have been in Iraq in the first place. A large percentile of the hate and discontent that's going on over there right now was instigated by George by going in there and doing away with Saddam. I mean, I don't like the guy. You know, he was not one of my favorite people, but it was a, it was a pretty peaceful, well, not peaceful, but it was a fairly disciplined or organized place while he was in the office. And when we went in and took him out for whatever reason, I don't understand. Uh, Actually, they lied, you know, you had weapons of mass destruction and all that crap. Well, anyway, we went and took him out, created a void, and now it's just pandemonium. I mean, they're killing each other fast as they can go over there, trying to create a uh, Arab state uh, controlled by Sh what is Shura law. It's a uh, uh, it's equivalent to our Bible. Uh, oh, fiddle. The Quran, you know, they take the worst parts of the Quran and they say this is the way we're going to do it. And if you don't like it, we will cut your head off with a rusty knife. So that's what they're doing over there, is they're cutting each other's heads off. And uh, I still think that it's uh, mostly our fault. This wouldn't be going on to the extremes that it is now if we hadn't gone in and upset the equilibrium over there. So 
Shame on you, George. Anyway, folks down at Seagull South, we're having a good time. We're enjoying it this year, really good. I, have, I need to mow the yard out there, bad. But it rained on the days that I was going to mow, so I didn't get to mow, so it's looking a little shaggy. They don't want us to mow on Saturday and Sunday. Today's Sunday, or Saturday. So it's going to have to wait until next Tuesday, but I'll get her done. Ah, uh, let me see. I've uh, showed you the unit, talked a little politics. As uh, far as I can tell, uh, we've had some rain down in the uh, down at Seagull South, and uh, uh, beneficial rain. Now, I don't know if all the uh, reservoirs are lipping, as they say, but uh, they uh, they've come up some, and uh, I'm glad of that. I talked to uh, Doug Shillings down there, fisherman down in Waco. He said they'd had a lot of rain. And uh, anyway, I will tell you, I was, Ike, I want to say that uh, we got skaters here as bad as you ever had them anywhere. Whoo! I mean, all the rain we've had and all these trees you see around here, boy, I mean, it's skeeter heaven. And uh, I've been digging and scratching and putting on the deep woods off. It's, uh, it's been hectic. But anyway, uh, I, haven't, I haven't made any notes. You know, so that I uh, have some uh, real controversial crap to talk about. So, uh, I guess I'll just uh, try to uh, run my uh, list. I don't have it either. It's down in Texas, man. I got up here. I just came up here in a flurry. Uh, I'll tell you one thing. I grew up in Little Valley, New York. It's over the hill over here. And Little Valley is the county seat. My daddy was the county sheriff. But Little Valley in those days, this is 40, 50 years ago, was a thriving town. It had a Borden's uh, plant where they powdered milk. It had, two or three, it had a furniture plant. It had two or three cutleries. Of course, the county highway department was there. And over the years, it's gone away. Little Valley is, uh, you know, kind of hurting for the industry, so to speak. But I was on the car, in the car today. And I'll be dig down if they don't have a radio station in Little Valley. Who'd have thought it? WGWE, Little Valley, New York. <laughs> Playing rock music that I don't know anything about. Anyway, it uh, a little bit I got anything else. They got a radio station. There's one of my friends walking up. I think that's Mike Gibbons. No, no, it ain't. He didn't wave back at me. So obviously, he don't know me from Adam's house cat. Anyway. That's a piece of earth-shaking news. Little Valley, New York has got a radio station. I'm proud for them. Anyway, I'm going to say uh, top of the day. You guys uh, out there, uh, give me another week or so. I know I've been uh, very derelict about getting on here and uh, running my mouth. But uh, I'll catch up. And I'm trying to think, I'm trying to visualize that list. I got Zimbardi on top high guy. I know you're up there at the Rod and Gun Club. I get up there to see you. Ike already told you we got skaters here. That's unusual. We didn't usually have skaters, not big ones anyway. Ah, oh, let's see. The girls down at the clinic in uh, Hillsboro. Crystal and the rest of you. Top of the day. Uh, if Carl over in Bradford's watching, man, I mean, I'm in tight at uh, Jamestown, and it's working for me, so I hope you're having a good year. Hope your daddy's doing good. Uh, Ray Marshall, high over in Ridgeway. Uh, can't remember. Got to have my list, you know me. I got to lean over here, examine my list, and I don't have them. So, I would pull up my little guy. You know, but I'll say howdy and goodbye. And here, lizard, lizard, lizard. Let me see if I can shut this thing down now. I haven't got half my equipment there.